Sage here. Uh, with Mass Effect Raider tonight, going to try to finish up the series, end of war, or do whatever. So, uh, that's where we're at. Yeah, kind of cool. Alright, hold on. Because we already got the elusive man, so we're after the Reapers next. All right, let's get at it. Feed the fish. I like my have my automatic feeder that I never could get. Uh, mail? No. Let's go down below see if we can buy anything. Nothing. Uh, I uh, see what we got on tap here. Let's check the journal. See if we can't do some last minute. Um, last minute. Um, uh, um, last minute. Ally, ally gathering. I think it was. Look at this. I can't. I am on the last leg. No choice. I don't wonder if anybody has anything to say, though. Ready whenever you are, Commander. Specialist trainer. I'm all right, really. I'm as surprised about it as you are, but I'm all right. You were credit to your uniform, Samantha. I had a very compelling example. We'll visit everybody just for a heck of it. You know, the Quarians have done pretty well with those suits. Maybe they can make something like that for you. Yeah, they have. You remember our first run to Eden Prime all those years ago? With that Turian Spectre watching us? Nihilus. 
Yeah, I told you that mission was going to be bigger than we thought. I think you can mark that prediction down as accurate. And now we're heading back to Earth. Is this mission going to be bigger than we thought, too? Man, I hope not. A nice routine delivery run would be fine with me. <laughs> it's been an honor, Commander. Same here, Joker. I don't know how it's going to end, but whatever happens... What do you mean, whatever happens? Everyone knows what's gonna happen. You're gonna kick some Reaper ass. That's what you do. And I'll be flying you there in style. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. All systems are armed, all ammunition. Oh, yeah, okay, we'll do that. And we'll come back and do that last. I'm just looking real quick at the names. One. Actually, we'll do the dog first. You've come a long way since those days under Captain Anderson. It has been my great honor to be with you through this journey. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Doctor. Goodbye, Shepard. And good luck. Oh! Uh, we were just, uh... Really? I, I, well, I, I just... Uh... I came to say goodbye, and... I'm really happy for you. <sighs> Both of you. Thanks. He left a lie, Shepard. Those two? Really? Alright. I mean, what's down is down. Dr. Tassoni found useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. Frightened. Anxious to go. But glad I'm here. And I'm ready whenever you're ready, Shepard. In fact, I think I've checked my equipment three times. Seven times, Dr. Tassoni. Stop me if I try for eight. Cerberus is well and truly gone. I, I don't want to get into it again, but I'm glad you had a hand in shutting them down for good. Felt... right, you know? Never thought I'd see the end of Cerberus. Good riddance. Okay. I gotta check on the crew. Falling down tired. I need a folding chair or something. Hmm. I would expect a little more out of her. Really? Looks familiar. I've been studying this ship, its crew. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. <laughs> but you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. Are they the reason you wish to continue living? Yep. My crew has become my family. We've stared death in the face more times than I can count. 
Things like that bind people together in ways I can't really explain. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier, Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. Like a beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces, or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone. But so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? If I had something like this, seeing Earth again, whole, with everyone still alive, that would be worth the pain. Before the Reapers, the stars belonged to us. Civilization flourished. There was the Quasar Fortress of the Tarandi Vale, the ice canals of Judah IV, the Palisades of the Verrom Angelic. It was magnificent. But then... What is it? The Reapers came. Planet by planet we were extinguished. We fought back. I... Are you okay? I once commanded a ship like this one. A loyal crew with many friends. Was captured. Only I escaped. What happened to them? Indoctrinated. The Reapers sent them against me. Year after year, battle after battle, I was hunted by my own people. Every encounter, a reminder of my failure as a soldier. Sorry, I had no idea. Until the Battle of the Cronian Nebula. I had only my knife left. I cornered my men and slit their throats one by one. I watched them bleed to death, to be certain. That... must have been... It was the day I understood. War is atrocity committed in the name of survival. It is a lesson I wish I had never learned. All right, hold on a minute. Got to change something. Now we're back on track. Have more to say? I have prepared. There was no final battle against the Reapers in my cycle. A great moment lies before you, Commander. Is it true you have... The Normandy is ready to go, Commander. Give the word and we'll get you to Earth. And Good luck Commander, with the assault. Wish I was joining such an you. Honor. No, you don't. I've seen you shoot. Likewise, Gabby. Right. Then Good I luck. wish I could shoot And better. be careful. Then okay. I wish I was joining you. Yes, ma'am. Take care of it. You too, Donnelly. Just got word from Miss Sato. She arrived at the Alliance Research Facility safe and sound. And I hear Esteban got to play the hero with a damsel in distress. You know me and my damsels, Mr. Vega. Is everything okay, Shepard? Sticking it to that bastard Kai Lang must have felt good. It certainly did. Just wish we'd have caught up to the elusive man before he could screw us over again. You and me both. Well, at least we get to head back to her. 
I've been asking for it. I just hope I'm gonna make those Reapers pay for everything they've done. I never thought about trying to talk to them before, really. We're going to Earth. Priority message from Admiral Hackett requesting to come aboard. Permission granted. Aye, Commander. Commander? Admiral? Are you ready to bring the might of the galaxy to bear on the Reapers? Yes, sir. Then let's make sure the fleets are ready. All fleets reporting in, sir. <laughs> Never before have so many come together from all quarters of the galaxy. But never before have we faced an enemy such as this. The Reapers will show us no mercy. We must give them no quarter. They will terrorize our populations. We must stand fast in the face of that terror. <laughs> they will advance until our last city falls. But we will not fall. We will prevail. Each of us will be defined by our Death. actions in the coming battle. Stand fast. Quarians. Stand strong. Stand together. Pack it out. Oh, you should show more than that, man. Shepard, the sword fleets are ready to strike at the Reapers surrounding Earth. While they keep the enemy engaged, you and Hammer Ground Forces can take London. London? Why aren't we hitting the Citadel directly? Anderson can brief you on that. Admiral, how are you holding up? We are ready to end this. But as you can see, the station's closed itself since it appeared over London. Damn it. Gotta get the arms open to dock the Crucible. Exactly. But London is surrounded by Hades cannons. Hammer transports can't land while they're active. You lead a squadron of smaller shuttles. Infiltrate with a ground team to take out the cannons using heavy weapons. Hammer can land, and we'll set up a forward operation space. I still don't see how we're getting to the Citadel from London. The Reapers use this beam to transport humans, alive and dead, to the Citadel. From the FOB, Hammer will launch an all-out assault on the Citadel beam. Everyone who makes it that far will take the beam to the Citadel, then locate and activate the Citadel arm controls. Once we see those arms, Shield Fleet will escort the Crucible to the Citadel. But timing will be critical. We don't have enough firepower to keep the Crucible safe for long. Nothing's ever easy. No reason it should start now. It's desperate. I don't even want to guess at our odds. But... But this is the only plan we have. If we wait, the Reapers bleed us slowly. Conventionally, we can't defeat the Reapers without the Crucible. Get the Citadel arms open. Commander, whatever the cost, we'll do the rest. Yes, sir. Good luck. 
to all of us. All right, there's our mission. I want Edie and Ashley. Approaching Sol Relay, Commander. We're through the relay in 30 seconds. Fleet reporting. Turian fleet reporting. Asari fleet's reporting. Orion fleet's accounted for and ready. Geth fleet reporting. All fleets reporting in, Commander. Ready to engage on your command. for descent. Commander. Be careful down there. We'll be fine. Stay focused. Aye, aye. Advanced team 
Avengers are away. Hammer's in position and waiting for you guys to clear a path. Normandy's rejoining Sword. Stay safe. I'll be back before you know it. I'll hold you to that. Normandy out. We're closing in on the LZ, Commander. How's it look? Like hell. Take a look for yourself. doesn't even look like Earth. responsible for taking out that defense turret. Who's on it now? Nobody in the vicinity. All either deployed or shot down. Drop us off. Sir? We have to take that thing out before Hammer can land. Understood. Change of plans, people. We're gonna take out that Hades cannon. And how are we gonna do that? That down shuttle would have been carrying heavy weapons. Perfect. You heard the man. Once we're clear, make your way to the crash shuttle. We'll search the wreckage for heavy weapons. Right behind you. Now, go, go! Damn, I can't stay here, sir. Get clear. Come get us once we've taken that turret out. Roger that. Cortez out. All right, everyone. Let's move. Jesus, man. Gun, where's it at? Need a gun.
damn it. Holy shit, man. There's some much needed ammo. I gotta use it now. At least we got Ashley long and he's kind of oh this is gonna be a They're gonna have banshees soon too. That's gonna be a real problem.
Where's the shuttle? Keep an eye out for their heavy weapon supplies. Yep, I knew it. Heads up. She's moving too fast. Commander Shepard, any aligned personnel in the vicinity? What the Busy, I'm torn down. out of here corporal you okay i'm alive yeah that you are commander anderson i knew you wouldn't let me down shepherd it's good to see you and you're a sight for sore eyes how are we looking now that the heavy air defenses are dealt with hammer can land and not a moment too soon what's left of the resistance is holding a forward operating base but the reapers are countering already once we regroup it's going to be up to Hammer to take up the fight. It must have been brutal here, cut off from the rest of the Alliance. It's been touch and go from day one. But once we figured out the Reapers were focusing on the major centers, it became easier to avoid direct contact. <sighs> Until London. Yeah. We held back as long as we could, sending in recon teams. Lost a lot of good men planning this attack. But with soldiers like Major Coates, and knowing you'd bring us help, we held on. Without you and your resistance, we'd be dead in the water. Yeah, the Admiral's being modest. He's the reason any of us are still alive. Let's not start handing out medals just yet. This fight's just getting started. And Hammer better be ready for it. They didn't start out together. But they're ready to stand side by side and win this war. Good. 
That's what it's gonna take. We'll get it done, Anderson. I was born in London. Really? Really? The entire galaxy united. Too bad it took the Reapers to bring us together. The commander can take the credit for that. That's exactly what I meant. I know you didn't like leaving Shepard. But nobody could have accomplished what you've done. It's good to be back home. Yeah, I really bet. There's the FOB. Looks good. Give Hammer the all clear. Such massive scale. set up a command center in the building over there. Looks like we've still got groups coming in. Yes, sir, but not as many as we'd hoped. Hmm. Come see me when you're ready, Shepard. Will do. I thought we'd see more of Hammer here by now, too. A lot of them won't be making it. You two go on ahead. I'll catch up. The fighting here has been some of the worst on the planet. It looks bad, but there's still hope. And you're here. It'll do the troops good to see you. Bolster their resolve. I'm just a soldier like them. You might see yourself like that, but they don't. Like it or not, Commander, you're a hero to these men and women. Don't discount the effect that can have on them. I better go meet up with my battalion. I'll see you at the command center. Hey, Commander. What? No loco? <laughs> yeah, sorry. You okay? I don't know what I thought I'd feel coming back to Earth. I was ready to fight. Ready to die if I had to. But seeing everything like this... I know it's hard to see, but this is only temporary. But first we need to win this thing. Stay focused. Don't let them take your will to fight. I know, I know. You're right. So, I guess this is it, no? One more push. One last fight. Yeah. Not necessarily our last. It's been an honor serving with you, Shepard. You're a good man, and a terrific soldier. He wasn't around Thanks. for very long. Whatever happens out there today, I know you'll make me proud. Just one game. That means a lot to me, sir. Hey. Good luck out there, loco.
Shepard. From the start, she's been with us. Restless. Man. Everything depends on this. Think we have a chance? She deserves to be here. There's always hope. From the very beginning. And you made it happen, Shepard. You're the reason we're here. I've had people like you picking me up and dusting me off when I stumbled. Lost count of all the times you've saved me. Almost as many times as you saved me, hero man. It always comes down to this. Feels like a thousand years since we met on Eden Prime. So much has happened. It's hard to figure out how we got here. You're a survivor, Ash. Always were. I hope you're right. I'm right. You're a fine soldier. A Spectre. We're lucky to have you. Thanks, Commander. Okay. One more hill to take, Lieutenant Commander. You ready? Yeah. Aye, aye, Captain. I'm ready. Always did like her. But where's Miranda? Yeah, I'm messing something. Yeah, I am. I want you to coordinate with the Alliance. Make sure we iron out these Let's problems. There he is. Yes, Prime Victus. I didn't realize you were here. Oh no, it's not. I wanted to return the favor in person. Though I'm sorry to see your world. Looks as bad as ours. Okay, that's kind of cool. It's a shame to see another planet get hit like this. It'll be the last one if I'm I... I'm beginning pretty much to too. Shepard. So I guess this is... Just like old times? chance we get to say that think we're gonna lose no i think we're about to kick the reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of then we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids oh um, yeah i'd say we've earned it i'll meet you there i think my days of saving the galaxy are over when this is done be sure to leave room for all the autographs <laughs> Just need to beat the Reapers to get there. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, but if this thing goes sideways and we both end up there, meet me at the bar. I'm by. We're a team, Garrus. There's no Shepard without Vicarian, so you better remember to duck. Sorry, Torians don't know how. But I'll improvise. And Shepard, forgive the insubordination, but this old friend has an order for you. Go out there and give them hell. You were born to do this. Goodbye, Garrus. And if I'm up there in that bar and you're not, I'll be looking down. I'll always have your back. Come on, fuck.
I was kind of stupid for like. Almost beginning to, pretty much. How about the casualties? We lost people. Some of the wounded here won't make it. The Reapers are closing in. How are you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. I just know I'll have a clever line five minutes from now. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment, if you want it. Sure. I've got a moment. Close your eyes. Thank you for everything. Let's do what needs to be done, Shepard. Oh. What's his condition? Okay, I'm not trying to stay calm. I can't say. He's here. Nobody. and speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. Yeah, you came a long way, Javik further than anyone else here. And I look forward to fulfilling my mission. But you are now the avatar of this cycle, the exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. <laughs> well, no pressure when you put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. Yeah, really. I know. I've had to make a lot of those. There may be more. But I know you will see this through for all of us. No matter the cost. If we actually pull this off, what'll you do afterwards? Seeing the past again in the Echo Shard. The faces of my men. I will go to the Cronian Nebula. And I will find their graves. I will put their ghosts to rest. And then I will join them. You mean? It is as it should be, Commander. The last Protean voice has spoken. There is no more left to say. Here. This shard is now yours. Add to it. The progeny of this cycle will study it. They will know this was the day when the Reapers were no more. And that you were the conqueror. Rax. Shepard, you did it. No matter what else happens today, you did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. Oh, and Makara sent her regards. She's already pregnant. There are benefits to being a clan leader. Now let's go kick some ass, Shepard. 
believe that went out. What about this zone? We could circle around and flood it with reinforcements. Trapped inside Big Ben, sniping anything that moved. It's a bloody death trap. Maybe we're getting to the final push. Are you okay? I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on her pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't back you now? And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? You remember how you felt when you landed on Rannoch? Now imagine it's not a story passed down by your people. Imagine you were there just a few months ago. And now you're seeing it like this. We need to put it right. We will. Whatever happens, I'm proud to have served with you, Captain. Alright, hold on. It's been an honor, Talizor of Us Normandy. The Admirals once hung that ship name on me like a badge of shame. And then the Normandy helped us reclaim our homeworld. It's time I returned the favor. That was cool. Edie. Shepard, I have a question. Is it a big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the Conduit at all? The Reapers have the Citadel. They think they've won, and that's the best time to hit them. If they have spies or other intelligence, we could lose the element of surprise. In such a case, we will likely lose. Are you afraid? Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do, or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours, nor will they. Couldn't have put it better myself. Time to move out. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. All right, bio break before we kind of get into this part here. Be right back. All right, here we go. Commander. Admiral. Just going over the sit rep. How's it look? <sighs> Barely 50% of Hammer has reported in. Can we count on more making it? There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. Every minute wasted here, the Reapers gather strength. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here, but now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? 
Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here. If we get close enough, we've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us. But there can be no retreat. No stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push to the beam. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well. This war has brought us pain and suffering and loss. But it's also brought us together as soldiers, allies, friends. This bond that ties us together is something the Reapers will never understand. It's more powerful than any weapon, stronger than any ship. It can't be taken or destroyed. Wow. The next few hours will decide the fate of everyone in the galaxy. Every mother, every son, every unborn child. They're trusting you, depending on you to win them their future. A future free from the threat of the Reapers. But take heart. Look around you. You're not in this fight alone. We face our enemy together, and together we will defeat them. Edie and Ashley. Also, I have a human in on this for the final assault. Garrus, Tally, Yara, and Ashley since the beginning. That's what I want.
man, I'm getting lit up. He's a problem. more.
here, Commander. I'm gonna need that.
wiped out. Commander, do you read me? Major, what's the situation? The beam's interfering with missile guidance. We can hit the destroyer, but we'll never make the precision strike we need to take it out. Damn it! I may have a solution. I should be able to use the Normandy systems to enhance the missile's targeting capabilities. I just need to create a link to the Normandy. That's it. I'll let you know when I've adapted the targeting system. Sounds like good news, Commander. We'll see. Hammer, this is Admiral Anderson. The Reaper ground forces are making a push. Hold your ground. Protect those tanks until we can get a shot. You heard it, people. Get ready. There they are. Soldier, heads up! We've got more incoming! Damn! We better cover our left flank!
missile guidance enhanced. Firing. Countering interference. Did it hit? What happened? The Reaper is still too close to the beam. We're down to two missiles. And we haven't even made a dent. You will need to allow the Reaper to move out of the beam's influence. And closer to us. Commander, hammer's being overrun at every turn. Reaper ground forces are converging on your location. We're fighting our way to you. Hold on, Commander. Hold on. Are we on our own? Hold on, everyone. We can do this. Here they come. Damn it. God damn, I can't fucking move anywhere. God damn. God 
fucking move over the goddamn fucking side. God damn it, man. Fuck. Give me the fucking gun. The gun. Over the top, over the top, over the top, over the top. How long does it take to fucking click the goddamn thing? Get over the fucking side of the top of it. Fuck. This shit.
can't even see that motherfucker. We were out of the... Damn, fuck. Shepard, over here. Thank God you made it. It didn't look good. It gets worse. Of course it does. Hackett just reported in. Several sovereign class reapers, including Harbinger, have broken off from the battle with Sword. They're headed here. Harbinger. It's an opportunity for Hackett to get the Crucible in place. But we have to get a team on board the Citadel to open those arms now. We still don't even know what we'll find when we get to the Citadel. Then that's our job. Find out what we're up against. <sighs> All right. Saddle up, everybody. <sighs> get me Admiral Hackett. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going. From here on in, it's a straight shot to the beat. A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. We just need to get a handful of troops through. Only a handful, huh? We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. Can't think of anyone else I'd rather do this with. Nobody does it alone. 
We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it. systems. I can initiate repairs. Edie, I need you to preserve and protect the Normandy. Shepard. Be safe, Edie. Come on. It's just right here. Ah! 
So close. Anderson, you up here too? better I feel like death but I'm moving it's dark there's human remains scattered here to be processed. I was curious. Anderson? One of the walls here just realigned itself. The place is shifting, changing. There's a keeper. There's a chasm here. And more hallways like the one I was in. I think I'm near an exit.
Anderson. the means to survival, control of the Reapers, and of you, if necessary. Mm. They are controlling you. I don't think so, Admiral. Controlling me is a lot different than controlling a Reaper. Have a little faith. When humanity discovered the mass relays, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined, there were some who thought the relays should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again. A thousandfold. But... <sighs> Only if we can harness their ability to control. Bullshit. We destroy them, or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. You're playing with things you don't understand. With power you shouldn't be able to use. I... don't believe that. If we can control it, why shouldn't it be ours? Because... we're not ready. No. This is the way humanity must evolve. There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers. And I know with certainty, the Crucible will allow me to control them. <laughs> and then what? Look at the power they need. Look at what they can do. I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them, made it my own. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? If we destroy the Reapers, this ends today. But if you can't control them, but I can! Are you willing to bet humanity's existence on it? I know it will work. You can't, can you? They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself! You're indoctrinated! No! No! The two of you so self-righteous! Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices. You've sacrificed too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... It's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you now. You... You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. Because of you, humanity is already undone. That's not true! <clears throat> they have the Citadel. They've got us fighting each other. Instead of fighting them. I just need to... You've done exactly what the Reapers wanted. You're still doing it because they control you. I... 
they're too strong. You're stronger. Don't let them win. Break their hold. Don't let them control you. I tried, Shepard. Commander? We did it. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. <laughs> Best seats in the house. Feels like years since I just sat down. I think you earned a rest, Anderson. Mm. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, son. You did good. I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. Anderson? Shepard? Commander? I... I... What do you need me to do? I'm not sure how to... Commander!
Wake up. What? Where am I? The Citadel. It's my home. Who are you? I am the Catalyst. I thought the Citadel was the Catalyst. No, the Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps. I control the Reapers. They are my solution. Solution? To what? Chaos. The created will always rebel against their creators. But we found a way to stop that from happening. A way to restore order. By wiping out organic life? No. We harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We helped them ascend, so they could make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. You said you're the catalyst. What are you? A construct. An intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. I was created to bring balance. To be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI? In as much as you are just an animal, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But you were created. Correct. By who? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life. To establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict. So a new solution was required. The Reapers? Precisely. I met your creators. They told me what you did to them. We did as we were expected. They said you betrayed them. ...that you turned them into Harbinger. When they asked that I solve the problem of conflict, they failed to understand they were part of the problem themselves. The flaws of their organic reasoning could not perceive this. They lacked the foresight to understand their destruction was part of the very solution they required. Well, they've joined this war now. And I welcome their involvement. I am only facilitating their request. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. Leviathan. Yes. They created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life. To establish a connection. They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve. But it was the only solution. You've said that before. But how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence. But those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their creators. The result is conflict. Destruction, chaos. It is inevitable. Reapers harvest all life, organic and synthetic, preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. We're at war with the Reapers right now. 
You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it to be reborn in the form of a new Reaper. Like a cleansing fire, we restore balance. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. What do you know about the Crucible? The device you refer to as the Crucible is little more than a power source. However, in combination with the Citadel and the Relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. We first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. But you're taking away our future. Without a future, we have no hope. Without hope, we might as well be machines. Programmed to do what we're told. You have hope. More than you think. The fact that you were standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. What do you mean? The Crucible changed me, created new possibilities, but I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. But be warned, others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. What exactly will happen? Your Crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected. But those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. So... The elusive man was right after all. Yes, but he could never have taken control. Because we already controlled him. But I can. You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. But the Reapers will obey me? Yes. We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. Hmm. There is another solution. Synthesis. And that is? Add your energy to the crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework. A new DNA. 
Explain how my energy can be added to the Crucible. Your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what, exactly? The energy of the Crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Organics seek perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have tried a similar solution in the past. But it has always failed. Why? Because the organics were not ready. It is not something that can be forced. You are ready, and you may choose it. I... don't know. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? And there will be peace? The cycle will end. The Reapers will cease their harvest, and the civilizations preserved in their forms will be connected to all of us. Synthesis is the final evolution of all life. The paths are open, but you have to choose. What will I choose? Wow. Man. What a choice to be making. But this is where I'm going. Just... Might give time for organics to kind of get situated for more synthetics later on. I don't think term humanity is ready for synthesis at this point. That would be my thought on the matter, really. But yeah. I make a choice and live with it. That's why. you made that's the way it is Such a good series, man. It really is. Ah. At this point, it's kind of legendary. It's close to epic. Thank you. 
major coast survived. Problem to ending a Mass Effect 3. takes over when I die, it's what I want to know. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Joker? He's been there the whole time too. Ashley. From the beginning. Kind of appropriate there. have been defeated against all odds and in the face of the greatest threat this galaxy has ever known we survived we suffered many losses the relays are severely damaged but we won this victory belongs to each of us every man woman and child every civilization, on every world. Miranda. Yeah. Jacob. Ayara. Mara. Really? Uh, homie, I forgot his name. Now, as we take our first steps Krogan toward Grunt. restoring what we lost, we must remember what it took to win.
this wasn't a victory by a single fleet, a single army, or even a single species. If this war has taught us anything, Allie. it is that we are at our strongest when we work together. And if we can put down our grievances long enough to stop something as powerful as the Reapers, imagine what we can achieve now that they are defeated. It will take time, but we can rebuild everything that was destroyed. Our homes, our cool. worlds, our fleets and defenses, all of this and more. Together, we can build a future greater than any one of us could imagine. A future paid for by the sacrifices of those who fought and died Dang. alongside us. A future that many will never see. So? Admiral David Anderson. Did Sumi Goto kill died? Did he die? How did Kasumi die? Did he died because Morden. And while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. And we will honor those who died to give us that future. Such a good ending, it really is. Thanks for watching the stream if that was the case. Got to stick it out to the end. There's a reason why.
I'm so excited for the remaster coming up. Man, I want to play that. I just hope people in the future can enjoy these videos, the people who played them, the game itself, the story, the interaction with the two. That's, that's why we do this, to share the experience down the road. After all, the ones who play this will not always be around. Some of us realize that. Did that all really happen? Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story.
Thanks for watching. That's it for tonight.